let us share more about finances, today let us talk about ATM machines, what are there and how do they work, if you are new here you can subscribe. Using an ATM, customers can access their bank deposit or credit accounts in order to make a variety of financial transactions, most notably cash withdrawals and balance checking, as well as transferring credit to and from mobile phones. ATMs can also be used to withdraw cash in a foreign country. If the currency being withdrawn from the ATM is different from that in which the bank account is denominated, the money will be converted at the financial institution's exchange rate. Customers are typically identified by inserting a plastic ATM card, or some other acceptable payment card, into the ATM, with authentication being by the customer entering a personal identification number, PIN, which must match the PIN stored in the chip on the card, if the card is so equipped, or in the issuing financial institution's database. According to the ATM Industry Association, ATMIA, as of 2015, there were close to 3.5 million ATMs installed worldwide. However, the use of ATMs is gradually declining with the increase in cashless payment systems. An ATM, automated teller machine, is an electronic machine used for financial transactions. As the term implies, it is an automated banking platform that does not require any banking representative slash teller or a human cashier. Let's learn more about an ATM, its benefits, and uses in this blog. What is Automated Teller Machine? ATM stands for Automated Teller Machine which is a self-service banking outlet. You can withdraw money, check your balance, or even transfer funds at an ATM. Different banks provide their ATM services by installing cash machines in different parts of the country. You can withdraw money from any of these machines irrespective of whether or not you are an account holder in the same bank. ATM transactions are either free or bear a nominal charge depending upon the banks. Banks usually do not charge for the first 3 to 5 ATM transactions in a month. Once you cross the limit of free transactions, you may have to pay a nominal charge. Also, some banks levy charges if you withdraw money from the ATM of another bank of which you are not an account holder. Types of Automated Teller Machines ATMs. Automated Teller Machines ATMs, are mainly of two types. One is a simple basic unit that allows you to withdraw cash, check your balance, change the PIN, get many statements and receive account updates. The more complex units provide facilities for cash or check deposits and line of credit and bill payments. There are also on-site and off-site automated teller machines. The on-site ATMs are within the bank premises, unlike the off-site ones which are present in different nooks and corners of the country to assure that people have basic banking facilities and instant cash withdrawals if they can't go to a bank branch. ATMs can also be categorized based on the labels assigned to them. Some of these labels are listed below. Green label ATMs used for agricultural purposes. Yellow label ATMs used for e-commerce transactions. Orange label ATMs used for share transactions. Pink label ATMs specifically for females to help avoid the long queues and waiting time. White label ATMs, introduced by the Tata Group, white label ATMs are not owned by a particular bank but by entities other than the bank. Brown label banks operated by a third party other than a bank. There are also a few biometric automated teller machines that need fingerprints and eye scanners to be operated. Uses of an automated teller machine Automated teller machines have revolutionized the banking sector by providing easy access to customers and loading off the burden from bank officials. Some of the uses of an ATM are Most commonly, Users can withdraw money and check their account balance at an ATM. Bank account holders can also transfer money or change the PIN, personal identification number. Newer and advanced ATMs also provide options to open slash withdraw a fixed deposit, FD, or to apply for a personal loan. You can also book railway tickets, pay the insurance premiums, income tax and utility bills, recharge your mobile and deposit cash. Some of these facilities may require you to register at the bank branch. 
customers can perform direct transactions at their convenience. Banks have installed their ATMs today in public spaces, highways, malls, marketplaces, railway slash airport stations, hospitals, etc. Automated teller machines provide 24 times 7 access anywhere and at any time. ATMs help to avoid the hassle of standing in long queues at the bank even for simpler transactions like withdrawing money. It has also helped in reducing the workload of the bank officials. How to use ATMs To avail of the facility of automated teller machines, you need to have a bank account and an ATM card against the account for the same. Most of the times, banks issue a debit card that you can use not only at ATMs but also at online payment gateways or card swipe payments. Every automated teller machine has some common basic parts, even if they may differ in size and design. These are 1. Input devices Card reader Every automated teller machine has a space to insert the debit or the ATM card. The ATM card generally has a magnetic strip on the back, and in a few cases, a chip on the front, that contains the account details. Card reader recognizes these details and passes them on to the user server. Keypad All ATMs have a keypad where you can insert numbers, clear them, or cancel any transaction. You can use it to enter the PIN and the amount you wish to withdraw. These keypads can either be physical buttons on the ATM or virtual keypads on the touch screen. 1. Output devices Display screen There is a display screen in every ATM, usually LCD or CRT that displays the transaction information like steps to do the transaction or balance after withdrawal. Therefore, it acts as a guide to performing a transaction. It displays options of pin change, quick cash withdrawal, balance check, etc. Cash dispenser, cash is safely stocked into the automated teller machine by bank officials. There is a cash dispenser from where you can collect cash after withdrawing a certain amount from the ATM. Receipt printer, after completing a transaction, the receipt printer in the ATM records the type of transaction, amount withdrawn, and the remaining balance. In an ongoing transaction, ATMs generally display the question if the customers want the receipt or not. So, if requested, you get the receipt from the receipt printer. Speaker, there is a speaker in most of the ATMs which gives the audio instructions for accessing the machine and doing transactions. Therefore, it further enables the users to perform the transaction smoothly. How can you operate an ATM? Here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to operate an ATM. Approach the ATM, walk up to the ATM and ensure that the surrounding area is safe and well lit. Be cautious of anyone behaving suspiciously nearby. Insert your card, locate the card slot on the ATM and insert your debit or credit card with the card's magnetic strip facing down or the chip facing up, depending on the type of card and ATM. Follow the on-screen instructions if any. Enter your PIN, once the card is inserted, the ATM will prompt you to enter your personal identification number, PIN. Carefully enter your PIN using the keypad provided. Ensure that you shield the keypad with your hand or body to prevent others from seeing your PIN. Select your transaction, after entering your PIN, the ATM will display a menu of transaction options on the screen. Common options include withdrawals, deposits, balance inquiries, and fund transfers. Select the transaction you want to perform by pressing the corresponding button on the keypad. Follow on-screen instructions, the ATM will provide step-by-step -step instructions for each transaction. Read the instructions carefully and follow them accordingly. Withdrawal, if you choose to withdraw cash, enter the amount you wish to withdraw and confirm the transaction. The ATM will dispense the requested amount in cash. Deposits, if you want to deposit cash or checks, the ATM will guide you on the specific procedure. Some ATMs require you to insert checks or cash directly into designated slots, while others may provide envelopes for you to place your deposits. Transaction completion, once you have completed your transaction, the ATM will display a summary of the transaction details on the screen. 
take note of any important information or receipts provided. Collect your card and cash, after completing your transaction, the ATM will return your card. Remember to take your card back from the machine. If you made a cash withdrawal, collect the dispensed cash as well. Confirm your transaction, take a moment to confirm that you have collected your card and cash before leaving the ATM area. If there are any issues or discrepancies, contact your bank immediately. It's essential to always be cautious and aware of your surroundings when operating an ATM. Shield your PIN entry, avoid sharing your PIN with others, and keep your transaction receipts for future reference. It is quite obvious that we can forget the ATM PIN but there is nothing to worry about. You can easily reset and create a new one if you forgot the ATM PIN. While you can do it by personally visiting the bank branch, various alternative ways allow you to reset the PIN without having to go to the branch. Ways to reset the ATM PIN ATM card PIN reset can be done by visiting the bank or the ATM. You can also do it through net banking, or by contacting the customer care staff. The bank will send you an OTP, one-time password, on your registered mobile number. This is to confirm that you are performing the ATM card PIN reset. This assures that it is not an unauthorized change of ATM PIN. Below, we discuss the multiple ways how to reset the ATM PIN. Reset ATM PIN at Bank To reset the PIN at the bank, you will have to visit the branch where you hold the account. Then, consult an executive to reset your ATM card PIN if you forgot your ATM PIN. Follow the below steps to reset your ATM PIN. Fill out the request form for PIN change or PIN reset and submit it to the bank. The bank provides a temporary PIN through physical paper mail or SMS. The temporary PIN that the bank sends through SMS is also known as green PIN. You will have to reset this bank provided PIN later by generating a new PIN. A self-generated PIN is confidential and secure. Banks generate a temporary PIN through OTP sent on your number. You must not share the ATM PIN with anyone and never allow others to change it either. Block the card immediately if you suspect any fraudulent activity or if you lose the card. Reset at ATM Each time you log into your ATM account at an ATM, it displays several options on the screen. For example, check balance, cash withdrawal, PIN reset, etc. You need to follow these steps for ATM PIN reset at an ATM. Once you insert the ATM card into an ATM and the card reader reads your card, click on Forgot PIN. You will then have to enter certain personal details like your ATM card number, bank account number, type of account, and registered mobile number. You will be sent an OTP at the number registered with your bank account, enter the OTP to validate the action. Once you have reset your ATM card PIN, you get a message of a successful PIN change on the screen. Reset through net banking. If you forgot your ATM PIN, you can also reset it through internet banking. You can do it either on the net banking portal of the bank's website or the mobile app. You must have internet banking activated for your bank account, after which you need to follow these steps. Once you log in to your net banking site or application, go to the section of change slash reset pin. It can be under the settings tab, profile, or the homepage. Different banking sites slash apps have different user screens. Usually, you may have to enter the new pin twice for confirmation. Once you enter the pin, you will receive an OTP on your mobile number. Enter the OTP to confirm, and successfully change the pin. You will also receive the notification of the same on the app slash website as well as your registered mobile no. Reset through SMS The process to reset the PIN if you forgot the ATM PIN through SMS is the same as when you want to change the PIN to a new one from the old existing PIN. Send SMS to the bank's number which is dedicated to the PIN change facility. Enter details like debit card number or bank account number requesting PIN change. An OTP or temporary PIN that is valid for a few hours is sent. You can go to the ATM, log in with the temporary ATM PIN and change it. 
make sure that you reset the ATM pin before the validity of the temporary ATM pin expires. As a summary, if you forget the ATM pin or want to change from old to new, you can easily do it. There are various methods to change or reset the ATM pin, at the bank or the ATM, or via net banking and SMS. Follow the instructions as given by the bank or as displayed on the screen of the ATM slash net banking app. You can conveniently and safely change the pin. As conclude, ATMs have multiplied the accessibility and convenience of the people. It helps people to have cash in times of urgent need. It is useful especially when you are not at the place of your bank branch where you hold an account or when banks are closed. You can withdraw cash even on bank holidays or after work timings because you are not dependent on them. Thank you for watch and if you like you can subscribe to our channel. And watch other videos from us.